Um, you've got two more wonderful acts. Are you looking forward to them? Yes. Oh, I'm liking the enthusiasm. The next act is actually genuinely one of the loveliest people you will ever meet in Edinburgh. If you get the chance to meet her, she is wonderful. Please welcome to the stage the one, the only, the wonderful Asli Akbay! <laughs> Hello. Hello! Hello people, how are we doing? We alright? Yay. Yay! Who's here from Edinburgh? Yeah. Oh, put your hands up! No, we're cheering for comedy gigs! Okay, let's do it again. Who's here from Edinburgh? Give me a cheer! Yay! Yay. Cool, we've got loads of Edinburghians. What is the word for multiple Edinburghians? I don't know. I don't know, I made a word up. Who's here from London? Yeah. Woo! Fucking enthusiastic for being in London, it's good on you. Have you still got houses in London? Yeah. Yeah, fucking. Own a fire I'm, station. Oh, near the fire station, good for you. Good for you. I'm originally from London, my parents are Turkish. Not Turkish background, and you know what? It is true what they say about Mediterraneans, it is true. We are ridiculously hairy, right? It's not It's not funny, it's not a joke, it's just the truth and it's annoying. Like, I don't wake up looking like this, right? In the mornings, I wake up with a proper fucking beard every bloody morning, and I have to remove that shit before I can get on with my day. Kind of like yours, sir. You know, kind of like yours. It's terrible, the shit that we females have to go through, all this hair removal, it's bloody annoying. But talking of beards, let me ask you lot this. Have any of you lot seen those guys, right? with the outline beard. Have you seen these guys? They have like they have like an outline of where they might put a beard <laughs> if they maybe later decided to grow one. I'm not make your fucking mind up, do you know what I mean? Grow a beard or don't I don't need to see what your plans are. <laughs> And he had the no moustache beard. Have you seen this? Basically, right? Basically, it's like a beard, but with no moustache to hold it up. <laughs> it just kind of looks like a misshapen muff, you know? <laughs> just hanging off the end of his chin. Am I going to jump out and get you? A little bit scary. A little bit scary. I wonder sometimes, like, does it come alive at night? You know, like when he goes home. Does he, like, take it off his chin and put it on the pillow? And he's like, good night, beard. He's like, good night, master. Good night, beard. Good night, master. So, and then in the morning, he's like, right, you're going back on my face. I know I don't want to go back on your face. I want to go to the post office, that tough shit. You're going back on my face, so I can look ridiculous again. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Does anyone here like Christina Aguilera? Yeah. Oh, no, it's wrong. Get out. Get out. It's wrong. Apparently, right, if you listen to a Christina Aguilera album backwards, you can hear messages from Satan. Yeah, but if you listen to it forwards, you can hear Christina Aguilera. <laughs> and that is worse. Oh my god, that's worse. Right, I'm a female, as you'd hope, because I look like one, right? I'm a female, and as a female, I have to wear a bra, which is kind of annoying, right? It's annoying in the summer and it's itchy. And also, I think it's unfair, because even blokes with breasts don't have to wear a bra. Do they? <laughs> Fucking unfair. However, right? However, sometimes you get these women who are like, I'm alright with it, I'm just not gonna wear a bra, I'm gonna have my boobs all out there, right? I'm gonna have them free. And they walk around and they're jiggling and jangling, right? Which is fine if they wanna do that, but then they also moan. Right, they moan, they're like, oh, these blokes, they're always looking at my breasts, they're always looking at my breasts. And I'm like, sort it out, love. Your nipples were looking at him first. <laughs> Six. I was in a chemist, right, buying stuff. You don't need to know what I was buying. I was buying stuff, and there was a girl in front of me, and she was buying. She was buying diet pills and a birthday card. So either those two things were completely unrelated, or she's a complete bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm single, right? I'm single. Most people that do comedy are single because we're a little bit weird, basically. I'm single, right? And I'm getting on a bit. I'm 30, but I still fancy 18-year-olds. Mm. I'm 18. You're 18? Cool, we'll talk later. I mean, it's all, the thing is, it's quite good. You know, they're, they're lovely, like they're all smooth and hairless. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to stop, you know, fancying them. But hey, you know, maybe I won't. But, you know, at this age, I'm 13, it's annoying. Like, whenever I go to weddings and stuff, right? I always get, like, aunts and old ladies. They come up to me and they're like, don't worry, dear, don't worry, dear. You'll be next. You'll be next. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake. So now when I go to funerals, right, I go up to those old ladies. <laughs> You'll be next. Oh, gosh. Why? Why is a one-night stand 
to call it a one night stand because if all you were doing was standing, you're not really getting laid, you're just standing in a big fucking queue somewhere. Do you know what I mean? You're just waiting. Why is it called a one night stand? I don't know. Really, they should be called auditions, right? Because <laughs> that's what they are, right? They're auditions. Do you know what I mean? Because if it goes well, you're like, great, you see them again. But even if it goes well, sometimes if you're evil, you won't see them again and you just keep doing that forever and ever, just having auditions. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Some, do you, does anyone here like ever kind of realise that maybe you watch a bit too much porn when uh, you start to recognise Japanese and Chinese girls on a street? <laughs> yeah, anyone? I don't know. I don't know. It just kind of happens to me. Because like, there are loads of Asians in porn, right? There are loads of Asians and they're like the tiniest girls with the biggest muffs in the world. <laughs> Sometimes you're watching it and you get confused. You're like, you don't know if it's a horror because you forget, right? And all you see, like, the man dives in, he dives into the muff. You can't see him anymore. It's just a fuck. It's just a fuck sticking out, right? I mean, you've got to change. You've got to fucking switch. You've got to change. You've got to close that window down because otherwise you'll like, try and go to sleep and you just imagine the muff chasing you, chasing you. I fucking know. Oh, terrible. Oh, God. And why? And, like, really not, and then I realised that, like, uh, um, strap on is no parts spelt backwards. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? That's bloody weird. Oh, I don't know. Right, I'm gonna only. I think we've got the do next dude here. Right, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna slowly. I'm gonna slowly make a move. Um, what are you? What are you doing? Hold on. Sorry, guys. They're a little bit of. Uh, they're like. They're disgusting. Okay, I'm staying on. That's what's happening. I'm staying on. Yeah, you're I'm staying on. on. Just let me know, Al. It's my mother, right? Because I'm Turkish, like she's, you know, she puts a lot of pressure on me. She's like, oh, when are you gonna, you know, are you gonna have kids? Are you gonna have kids? When are you gonna have kids? And she just goes on and on. And then, uh, and then she said to me, think about this, right? If you don't have kids, then who's gonna look after you when you're sick and old? And I was like, so that's what it's about, then, mum, is it? Basically, you have kids so that you're effectively breeding your own personal carers <laughs> for the future. But then I said to her, but mum, look at granddad. He's a cunt. <laughs> and nobody's looking after him. Do you know what I mean? You've got to be nice as well. You do have to be nice. You do have to. He is a proper knob. Anyway, he's a bastard, my granddad. But, um. <laughs> he just is. Okay, this is my last joke for you. Have, you. have you heard of that phrase, chubby chasers, right? People that fancy, like, really big people, they're called chubby chasers. And I think this phrase is a little bit weird. Like, how quickly are these chubby people getting away? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They could just be called chubby grabbers or something like that. Where are you going? Oh, there you are, bang, I got you. Oh, gosh. I've been Asli. You guys have been lovely. Thank you. Cheers.